I have cleared the changes of a stone acre. This is geology. I have cleared. I have cleared the changes of a stone acre crust. Layer after layer, we can. And of our biography, discovered the dates on the basis of that. We skewed the pages of all nature's plan. So we have got first astronomer, then we have got geologist. Now we have got the biologist. The tree of evolution I have sketched. Each branch and twig and leaf in its own place in the embryo tracked the history of form and the genealogy frame of all that lived. So that is what the microbiologist is doing now. I have detected plasm and cell and gene. Same biologist continue. Plasm and cell and gene. That is basically zoologist. The protozoa trees. Man's ancestors, ape, the humble originates from whom he rose. I know how he was born and how he died. Only what end he serves, I know not yet. Or if there is aim at all, or any end, or push of rich, creative, purposeful joy in wide worlds, the terrestrial power. I'm sorry, I don't know about that. So the. This is my work. I am a geologist. I am a physicist. I am an astronomer. I am a botanist. I am a zoologist. This is all I can do. I have caught her intricate processes. None is left. Her huge machinery is in my hand. I have saved the cosmic energy for my use. He is a kind of an engineer. He is a kind of a chemist also. I have poured. On our in infinitesimal elements, that's what a chemist will do, and her invisible atoms, and and her invisible atoms have unmade all matter. Is a book I have perused. Yes, I have read the entire book of matter, all the elements. Lavoisier, here is my Lavoisier, <laughs> scientist, chemist. Lavoisier was finally guillotined. No. He was guillotined. Lavoisier, chemist. Lavoisier. Yeah. I have proved on her infinitesimal element, and her invisible atoms have unmade, and all matter is a book I have perused. Only some pages now are left to read. Now this is a statement which is made every ten years by scientists. <laughs> Every ten years, he will keep on making. Yes, yes, I have understood that my physics, my theory is there, and now things are just unfold. I don't have to know anything more. This fellow, I have seen the ways of life, the paths of mind. Now he is coming to a psychologist. Paths of mind. I studied the methods of the ant and ape, and the behavior learned of man and woman. I studied the methods. Of ant and ape, studied the methods of the ant. This is absolutely biographical, autobiographical. In the record of yoga, <laughs> you have got the entry. She will see on the wall the ants moving, and he is applying his spiritual force how to change the direction, how to control their movements, and all, all that thing. I have studied that thing. She says, if I get it mastery, that uh, trikala drishti. And the darshana. If I get that thing, then I can control the entire universe. That was in 1912. See, about that time. And the behavior of and the behavior learned of man and woman. If God is at work, His secrets I have found. But still, the cause of things, cause of things, is left in doubt. Now, it is the philosopher who is questioning. It is the theologian. Who is questioning what could be the cause of that thing? What makes things go that way? The reasoning mind is coming forward, but still the cause of thing is left out. Their truth flees from the pursuit into a void. When all has been explained, nothing is known. What is that really explained? Nothing. What chose the process? When the power sprang, I know not, and perhaps shall never know. He is admitting his limitation. 
a mystery it is mighty nature's birth a mystery it leaves a stream of mind stream of consciousness that is what the psychologists say the stream of consciousness that is a mystery to me how it happens a mystery the protean freak of life which keeps on changing constantly freak this still a mystery to me what i have learned chance leaves to contradict he is coming now becoming a philosopher arguing whether it is the, he is trying to find out the first cause first cause of things that i don't know could it be chance by which all this has happened could it be the working of some fate that i don't know i can foresee the acts of matter's force but not the march of the destiny of man he driven upon path he did not choose he falls trampled underneath the roaring wind now he is coming to philosophy specifically my great philosophies are a reason gives so all that which i have been saying are only guesses reason guesses the mystic heavens that claim the human soul are the charlatanism of the imagining brain so it cheats itself constantly all is a speculation or a dream in the end the world itself becomes a doubt the infidels just mocks mass and shame a laugh peace on the infinite finite mass so god is hiding behind that infinite who is hiding behind him mass he laughs behind that mass how it might be perhaps the world is an error of sight so i start mistaking things it becomes an illusion for me so he is now going from theology to philosophy to theories of illusion after all this whole world might be an illusion a trick repeated in each flash of sun an unreal mind hallucinate so it is either a dream it is an hallucination it is an illusion it is a maya it is a swapna it is a hallucination fooling myself cheating myself with the stress vision of false reality oh he says a dance of maya and way so he is coming to the metaphysical theory of shankara even if a greater consciousness now he is going beyond that consciousness i could reach what profit is it then for thought to win a real which is forever in the fable or hunt to slay the bodiless self of me the unknowable the target of this world. now he is calculating all right i got limitations and you say please exceed your present consciousness and go into super consciousness greater consciousness live in the greater consciousness all right i admit but what is the use of the living in that greater consciousness i will be there but what happens here is the same old stuff foolish stuff keeps on happening it is of no avail to me here means extraterrestrial liberation is of no help for the terrestrial creature you go beyond this creation you live happily but then this creation lingers in ignorance in falsehood in error and all that thing so if a greater consciousness i could reach what profit of it for this world what profit ne let me work within my mortal bond so let me be happy in living in smallness in littleness contented i will not be at least haunted by this thing not live beyond life not think beyond the mind our smallness saves us from the infinite this is a very beautiful life <laughs> and it is true also see because if the infinite comes it will crush us we won't be living then by its power by its weight we will not be able to live at all so let me remain small you see i don't want to be sorry please you stay away from me <laughs> in a frozen grandeur lone and desolate call me not to die the great eternal death die the great eternal death left naked of my old humanity in the chill vast of the spirit's boundlessness 
you want to go out from this world yeah well, let's see will be we can see that great eternal that means merge into nothing merge into the absolute you have lost yourself totally into that great eternal death. So you're not nothing Liar. gone. You have merged, no you merged yourself. No more consciousness. You are not coming back at all then. Mm-hmm. Now, this is what the Isha Upanishad says. Following only the path of knowledge, you get lost into the infinite. Means you don't come back at all. It is a greater death. It is a greater greater darkness under under is is it is a greater darkness you have completely cut off from your creation you are gone there that is a great death to die the great eternal death this is the echo of the isha upanishad those who follow only the path of knowledge they get lost into the infinite and they don't come back here at all you see andam tamasa purusha left naked of my own humanity therefore let me live here each creature by its nature's limits lives and how can one evade his native fate yes i have been born like that let me suffer it's okay it's a part of my life but then at least i am existing i don't get lost in the great death human i am human let me remain i am happy i am contented because then only i can exist i don't want to get lost see i have seen all these philosophy sciences everything is is illusion dream hallucination and then you go and merge into the absolute and get lost what has happened here nothing therefore let me remain human in fact that is a very positive thing he wants to be all right i got limitations as it is na but i want to be here a high insanity a camera is this to think that god lives hidden in the clay now he is talking about the denial of the materialist denial of the ascetic refusal of the uh, denial of the ascetic high god lives hidden the, that this body can be transformed into his divine sense it is a camera it is a foolish thought imagination and call to her to say our self and her her is eternal truth her is eternal truth she is feminine and that eternal truth can dwell in time how can she she is eternal and you want to leave her in time which is small in a passing moment and call to her to save our self and world how can man grow immortal and divine transmuting the very stuff of which he is made he is made of ignorance he is made of matter and all that thing and you want to live become immortal and divine so this is the strongest negation which can come from the materialist from the materialist that is what this sense second mind is telling us transmuting the very stuff of which he is made how can you say this body become supramental nonsense <laughs> according to him this wizard gods may dream not thinking man i am a thinker i am a man i cannot dream such a possibility not thinking man so this is the limitation of the mental being this is the answer of the mental being to one who wanted to change things you see 